Now we'll have the floral tribute to Padma Bhushan Dr. B.V. Rajagaru, the founder of Vishnu Educational Society. To give a red carpet welcome to everyone assembled here, may I take the pleasure of requesting our principal sir to give the welcome note. Good afternoon to all. Respected Chief Guest of Izilu, P. Nagbo Shangar, and Vera our Chairman sir, and then Vishnu. Munsi Minir College Principal Srinivas Rao, then BVRS Principal Srinivas Gar, Ford Technical College Principal Subbara Rao, and then Munsi Minir College Vice Principal Srinivas Rao, and then my dear staff and my dear students. It gives me immense pleasure to have this function. The third batch of the former students are going from our college. And then by this time, most of them are already placed into jobs before getting their degrees. This will give a very much happy to me on this occasion. So this, in this function, sir, we have started this course in 2008 along with 25 colleges throughout India. This is obviously the first college started in Andhra Pradesh with Parmadi program. Afterwards, number of colleges have come. By starting after this one, this is the third batch which is going out of this college. As required by the PCI, we should have one MOU with an hospital. But in addition to one hospital, so our management is providing support to have exposure to the corporate hospitals and global hospitals in Hyderabad, and then citizen hospitals in Hyderabad, and then Narayana Vardhalaya in Bangalore, and then wherever our management, sir, chairmen, sir, my vice chairmen, sir, goes. If there is any speciality in that college or in that hospital, immediately they will respond. Why can't we stand our students to train in that way? So even that is the reason we are having, even though we are having MOE with Bengal Hospital, our students are exposed to number of hospitals and they, what are they going on in the hospitals and then one month training or two months training we are giving. And then Narayana Vardayala when they are placed, some of the students already they are absorbed into the same organization as the clinical pharmacists, it's even the global hospitals they are absorbed. And then with this, our students are doing well, sir. And then they are getting their training in a very disparate way. And then Bengaluru also we are having tie up with number of hospitals with Varma Hospital and then Orthopedics Ramarajgarh and then Neladri Hospital. Like that, we are having all the hospitals were tapping it and exposing our students to various facets of this profession of pharmacy, which is mainly clinical oriented, the pharmacy course. So, on this, this is the third batch that is going on. I wish all the students who have completed their pharmacy and then got their chaps. If there is anybody is not giant till today, we are ready to provide them a platform to get their jobs. So we are having the vacancies, we are getting the request some of these organizations. Only thing is the response should be from your side. So for don't think we don't have any jobs, we are having very good jobs. So only thing is those who are not giant, come to us, contact our placement cell. So we are, we are ready to provide the job opportunities. 
Thank you for this. Thank you, sir. Now, pharmacist taught by Dr. M. Rathprasad, sir. I swear by the code of ethics of Pharmacy Council of India in relation to community and shall act as an integral part of our healthcare system. I shall uphold the laws and standards governing my profession. I shall strive to perfect and enlarge my knowledge to contribute to the advancement of pharmacy and public health. I shall follow the system which I consider best for pharmaceutical care and counseling of patients. I shall endeavor to discover and manufacture drugs of quality to elevate suffering of humanity. I shall hold in confidence the knowledge gained about the patients in connection with my professional practice and never divulge unless compelled to do so by the law. I shall associate with organizations having their objectives for betterment of the profession and make contribution to carry out the work of those organizations. While I continue to keep this oath unviolated, May it be granted to me to enjoy life and the practice of pharmacy respected by all at all times. Should I trespass and violate this oath, may the reverse be my lot. Now I invite one of my friend Manvita to give an introductory note on of our guest. Respected luminaries, on the dais and off the dais, advised chief guests of the evening, beloved principal, most valued parents, cherished faculty members, and my dear students, a very good evening. It is indeed a beautiful evening, all soaked in a delighted frame of mind. This evening, I have the pleasure of introducing to you C.P. Nagabush Nambaru, ex-director of Drug Control Authority. He allocated M.Com in 1980 from Andhra University and B.L. from same university. He also started his MBA from Dr. Ambedkar Open University and his MA Astrology from Sri Koti Sri Ramadhan University, Hyderabad. He worked as drug inspector from 1981 to 2005 at Samaridi and Deputy Director to Drug Control Authority from 2005 to 2009. He worked as Joint Director from 2005 to 2013 and also fashioned as Director from 2013 to 31st Jan 2017. He furnished as a Founder President of AP Drug Inspectors Association and President of IPA Vijayawada Branch and he also served as Secretary at the Hyderabad Branch. Thank you. Now, I invite our honorable guest, Shri P. Nagabhushnam Garu, ex-director BCA Andhra Pradesh, to address the gathering.
వేదిక పేరుతున్నాయి విష్ణు విద్యా సంస్థల అధినేత శ్రీ కేవి విశ్వరాజ్ గారికి ఫార్మసీ కాలేజ్ ప్రిన్సిపాల్ కె ప్రసాద్ గారికి ఇక్కడ ఉన్న ఇతర కాలేజీల ప్రిన్సిపాల్కి సాటి ఫార్మసిస్టులకి ఫార్మసీ విద్యార్థులకి వారి తల్లిదండ్రులకి అందరికీ కూడా నా హృదయపూర్వక నమస్కారం ఈవేళ ఈ సాయంత్రం ఈ చక్కటి కార్యక్రమంలో ఫార్మసీ విద్యార్థులతో ఫార్మసీ విద్యను పూర్తి చేసుకుని ఈవేళ పట్టాలు పెంచుకుంటున్న ఫార్మసీ విద్యార్థులతో యువ ఫార్మసిస్టులతో కలిసి ఈ చక్కటి సాయంత్రం నడిపిస్తే అవకాశం ఇచ్చిన నిర్వహణకి 